200. Why am I pressing the calculator for that value again? Square root, answer, divided by 2, divided by 9.072. So it'll be 6.659. Okay, 6.659. Okay, so once you get all the all this uh index, okay, so x in terms of time, so we know that c1 exponential of minus 11.023 plus by 6.659, okay. And then plus by C2 exponential of minus 11.023 minus by 6.659. So you come out to be C1E 11. Point, my T's are missing. Okay, 11.023 plus 6.659. Uh, 11 minus 11.023 plus 6.659 is equal to minus 4.5. 364 plus by C2E minus by 11.023, 17.682. When the exponential function is negative, it's good news. Okay, if it's if both are positive, run. Are we clear? There's something wrong. Okay, if it's both are negative, it is you are good to go. If both are positive, run. If one is positive, one is negative, then you you might you might have a bit of luck. Okay. So the best is both are negative. Okay. So from here, I will copy the whole thing. Right, so from here, we know that x as a function of time will be equal to this value now. Okay. So now we are going to use boundary condition number one, which states when x is equal to uh, x is equal to 0 0.15 meters when t is equal to zero, okay? So over here, we are going to have, so, and substitute into equation number one, okay? So this is equal to 0 0.15, is equal to C1. So e to the power of zero is equal to one. So it's equal to C1 plus by what? C2, okay? So over here, you can write an expression where C1 is equal to 0 0.15 minus C2. So this is your equation number two, okay? Then after that, we are going to use boundary condition number two where x dot is equal to zero meters per second, the time is equal to zero. Okay. So we have to find x dot or dx by dt. So this is equal to minus 4.364. Uh, 4 uh, C1 e minus by 4.364t. Okay, minus by 17.682, C2, E, minus 17.682, E. Okay, so from here, we are going to use boundary condition number two. So this is equal to zero. So we know that time is equal to zero. So this is minus 4.364. C1 minus by 17.682, right, C2, okay? So this is our equation number three. So we're going to substitute two 
into three now. Okay, so this is zero. This is equal to minus four point three six four. Bracket. Now C one is zero point one five minus by C two. Then minus seventeen point six eight two C two. Okay, so it work things out. So four point three six four. 4.364 times 0.15. This is equal to minus 0 0.6546 minus minus plus by 4.364 C2 minus 17.682 C2. Okay. So what we have is 17.682 minus 4.364 is 13.318. Uh, C2 is equal to minus 0 0.6546. Okay, so C2 is equal to minus 0 0.6546 divided by 13.318 is equal to minus minus 49.151 times 10 to power minus 3. So that's our C3. So therefore, C1 will be equal to 0 0.15 minus and minus again 49.151 times 10 to the power minus 3. Okay. So this will be equal to 0 0.15 plus by 49.159 power minus 3 is equal to 199. Boy. 151 times 10 to the power minus 3. So therefore, your final solution will be equal to x as a function of time. So this will be equal to uh, c1 is equal to 199.151 times 10 to the power 3, exponential of minus 4.364 T, and then minus 0 0.0 or 49.151 times 10 to the power minus 3, exponential of minus 17.682. So this system over here, so this is our final answer. Yeah, that's our final answer over there. And from here, I mean, don't just, yeah, this is the solution, okay? You, you, you need to have an impression on how this, the graph will look like, okay? So, if 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 we were to sketch again this is just a sketch this is x and this is time right what will happen is the initial distance will be 0 0.15 and then it will be a slow decay okay you have a decay now can someone tell me Will this equation reach zero? Now, mathematically, it means one thing. Physically, it means another thing. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you something that can get me into trouble. Okay. And I think it's good that you know this. This thing come out. Have you all seen this working before? Oh, seriously, dude. Some of you might say he's a freaking mechanical engineer <laughs> and he can't get this to work. <laughs> right. 
So I'm I'm going I'm going sidetrack now, like I always do. Okay, and I usually get myself into trouble. Okay. Right. So I I need a piece of paper. Sorry. Uh, I cannot give you this now confusion. I've got the ink paper for you. Okay. And I want you all to I want you all to learn this. Okay. And this is useful skill to learn. And I hope you all have your calculator with you. You all have your calculator with you, yes or no? Take out your calculator. Okay. And I want you to learn this now because it's so useful. Okay. And I'll do it slowly because you need this for the next course that I'm going to teach in 3A. You also need this. I believe you also need this for 3C. And you also need this for numerical methods okay right so i'm going to change into a document camera what can you see oh 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 uh okay i i i want to zoom out first oh Oh, oh, yes. Can you see the numbers or no? Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I told you, right? I always mess things around. Okay. Okay. I hope you can see the numbers. Okay. Can you see the numbers? A little bit. Okay. But more important, I want you to. So we are trying to determine the value of P. Okay, we're trying to determine the value of T using the calculator. Okay. So for this case, we are going to declare T of the entire equation to be equal to zero. Why I want it to be equal to zero? I want to find the time for the system to settle down, i.e. Zero vibration. Be clear. Okay. So I'm our we will use the calculator to do it. Okay. So what you do now, you press shift. Can you see CLR? Yes or no? Under mode, you see CLR, right? Clear. And I want you to press number three. And now I need to press equal. So now it reset everything. Okay. If you have mommy's phone number or that, you will forget everything. Like me, I'm trying to forget mommy's number. Okay. Are we clear? Okay. So now we are going to key in the expression into your calculator. And I'll do it slowly. Okay. So can you type in, okay, 599. Or one five one, right? Power of minus three. Then we go for the where's the freaking exponential function? It's the It's the It's the It's not the log. Ah, okay. So you press shift, natural log, bracket, minus four. Point three six four, and I want you to stop down there. Once you enter that, stop. Okay. 
So from now, from here, I want you all to see. Can you all see the alphabet in red? A, B, C, D, E, and F. Yes or no? Can you all see? 